and I got on my knees and begged you not to leave because I go berserk? Well, you left me anyhow, and then the days got worse and worse, and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind. We've all gone completely out of our mind, um, and one of the reasons is because we've got creepy crawlies hanging around here again today, because we've been joined by the fabulous Bert Canduccio from the Victorian Insectarium. Welcome, Bert. Hi. Good. How are you yeah, uh, Really good, mate. Good, How are you? Good. Oh, good, good. A bit hungry. You feeling a bit peckish? Mmm. All right. I well, am. Uh, um, well, what, what I thought we'd do today um, for something a little bit different is uh, talk a little bit about uh, insects in, um, uh, in diets of uh, various peoples around the world. So I bought a couple of things um, to have a look at. Now, first of all, we've all eaten these things before, haven't we? Um, and just think about uh, before you actually uh, peel a prawn, you need to remove the external shell. Mm -hmm. You have to sh shell um, the prawn and also same for, the, for crayfish, crustaceans, etc. Well, these animals that we've got are virtually exactly the same. Now, if I can get the camera to come up close, have a look at this. Um, this is a cast shell of this particular tarantula. Now, she needs to um, molt oh, every now and then yeah. in order to grow. No? Um, so if you think of uh, a spider as a hairy-looking cousin of a prawn, we're, we're halfway there into tasting these wonderful culinary des oh. delights that I've brought along. No? Um, now, uh, I've got... If you come over here, uh, have a close look. Uh, what I've prepared... During it, while you were on there for the last segment, is I've actually brought along some mealworms. Now, a lot of people confuse these with worms, but they're not. They're actually an immature type of beetle. And um, uh, what we've done is we've uh, baked them in the oven. Uh, first, we cleaned them and washed them. Then, we baked them in the oven. And so now they're ready to try. Now, what you, what you do is um, uh, pick, pick one up and just pop it in your mouth and have a have a bit of a chew, and it's very, very similar to prawn crackers. Now, in Africa, in Africa, um, at certain times of the year, there's a very close relative of this guy that actually covers lakes, and the women go out, gather them up, and make them into a type of cake, and they call them kunga cake, and there's quite a delicacy over there too. But unfortunately, we're going to have to make do with this, because this is the closest we can get to the African dish. Okay. So, um, so, yeah, so, so pass it around, pass it around. So, Tabitha, I believe that you would like to eat one of these little immature oh, oh. bugs here. Yeah. Yes, Tabitha, give her a okay. hand. Yes, well done. Let's right. have... Mm -hmm. And um, we've also got um, our next guest coming up is um, Sue. Uh, Sue? Sue? Come in through. Oh! Because um, Susan Harbin from the Pride Awards is going to come in and she's going to eat a... Tabitha, don't be greedy. They're nice. They're nice. Aren't they? Oh, nice. oh, Susan, yes. have one of those as well. I'm dying. Oh! <laughs> They are nice. They're similar to pork crackers. Are they? They are nice. Troy, are you going to have one? Um, vegetarian. What about you, Mother? Well, come on. Now, while you are you doing all While you guys are having a go at that, um, I'm going to get ready to make a special salad. Right, so, I'm, so I'm going to prepare a special salad. Oh! Um, oh my God. So yeah, well done. Give them a hand. Well done. Yes. Good. Good. All right. Did I? Like, like a oh, peanut yeah. 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 But do you know what I didn't like, though? Do you know what I didn't like is their legs touching my tongue. Oh. Mm. That was no, awful. Oh. Okay. No, like Let's all get calm and centred again, and we're going to go over, and Tabitha's going to give us a bit of more news and reviews and gossip. Take away, Tabs. Thank you, and yes, they were delicious. Of course, School AIDS Day is on Friday the 14th of July. If you'd like more information, of course, you can give them a ring at Positive Women, women and they'll give you all the rundown on that. It's basically to give young children a bit of um, a guide to and to think about people who have died with AIDS, and it's for Eve Van Grofhorst. I think that's sort of right. She had died from AIDS when she was 11 years old. So if you want your school to get involved in that, mums and dads or... Anyone who's watching, or kids, perhaps you can give the, the Positive Women's Centre a ring and they will put you on the right track. If you'd like a Ben TV cap, which can be a very stylish sort of thing to have around if you're probably going to the beach or something like that, or you just want to drive around and you can't feel whoop, real groovy down like on street, get one of these Ben TV caps. They're, of course, $20 for non-members or $15 for members. Funds do help keep the station going. And these very stylish T-shirts, which doubles the cum rack if you do get stuck, boys, they are actually $20 for a T-shirt and $10 for a member. Since Back to you, Paul. 
And thank you, Miss Information Tabitha Turlington. That was fabulous. It was very informational. You could get a job with Susie. <laughs> All right. Now, we are going to talk a little bit more. You're going to make a salad, okay, I yes, believe, yeah. or a salad uh, dressing. It, it, quite a few ways of serving these up. You can either have them um, fresh out of the oven like we've just done, or mm. uh, just pop them in a grinder, like so. Um, I'm going home to do this immediately. No, no. Now, nothing. obviously, the more you grind, the finer the flour, right? So we'll just grind them up like so. And this was actually my very, very first insect recipe. And now I'm sort of doing things like biscuit cakes and stuff. And, yeah, it's like an insect yeah. recipe book? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, there are. On the internet, there are quite a lot of um, internet sites talking about um, recipes to do with insects. So, yeah. oh. <laughs> that would be one of our roving repeaters. <laughs> See, I knew I used it for Sunday. <laughs> Alright, now, um, I brought along some um, fresh salad for all the vegetarians, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then you're going to put animal yeah, on? No, no, first we, first we need to dress the salad. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll brought along um, a little bit of olive oil. So I'll just... no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a bit of olive oil. Would that be a diamond? Okay, no. right. Um, a bit of vinegar. A yeah. cubic zirconia yeah. bracelet. Okay. Oh. Bit, of, bit of vinegar. Oh. Bit of vinegar. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, right. A uh, little bit of salt. Bit of the heart in the artery. Yes. Right. Caesar at eight, mate. Uh, now, um, pepper. And of course, the piece de resistance, our mealworm flour. So we'll just sprinkle a little bit of this in here. Right. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, not only for salads, but you can also use it for dressing uh, things like uh, all sorts of meat dishes, lamb, mm. chicken, mm. Uh, and it gives well, a very I think nice. It, a, it was and made it, of yeah, a, as a, a coating. Stuffing, wouldn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. You could even put it in stuffing. Stuffing. Oh, stuffing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'll just um, give that a good, oh, a good stir. It, oh yeah, it's just a little bit. Yeah, sand. yeah. It's a, it's and it's pure protein. Yeah, pure. Uh, well, not not a hundred percent, but about ni ninety five percent. Ninety five. Um, oh, so yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll no, go, go for it. Yeah. Mm. And we all like our protein. Absolutely delicious. People are flapping, oh, so I have to. Watch. Be my guest. Pass it around. Have a try. Um, beautiful. So. Oh, very nice. All right, but so oh. perhaps while we're uh, tasting yeah. the culinary yeah. delights you've created for us, we can talk about what's going on at the Victorian Insectarium over the school holidays and stuff. Is okay, anything? yeah, we, um, we're currently running with our school holiday programs, so, yes. Oh, um, <laughs> mm, it's very tasty. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're running with our school holiday programs now, so um, uh, doing a lot of work with uh, children and it's also adults who really come and visit us. Um, and actually, this has given us this has given us an idea. Maybe for the next school holiday period, we may um, have a whole program where we we will cook and prepare a whole range of insect dishes. Well, and get everybody come down and have a go. The GST free too, aren't they? They can't bloody tax us on our bugs. So get out to your garden, everyone. Grind up your bugs and make some salad. Oh, there you go. Uh, there we go. Oh, convert. Yeah, that's good. You that's said good. you said that you'd get us all done. Yes, salad. yes, that's right. Um, not even a complaint. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Oh, that's nice. Now yeah, we've we've had um, cockroach pate, quite nice. Um, and yeah. also another great delicacy is cockroach fried pate. fried termites. <laughs> Fried termites in butter. Very nice. Quite, quite nice. That is okay. disgusting. Cockroach pate. Yes, cockroach pate. Now, you friends that are moving to, to Sydney, that. that'll do huge things in Sydney. Okay, well, what, 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 how about we do this? What if I bring a range of dishes next time, and I'll just put them on the table, and I won't tell you what they are, <laughs> and everybody have a go, everybody have a go, and then when we've all eaten it all, I'll place the labels next to the dishes. That'd be great. And then get, the camera can get close up to the <laughs> <bottle. laughs> everywhere. That'd okay. be lovely. We'd right. like that That's a lot. That. Okay. All right, um, Troy, have you got something you want to talk about? I do, actually. Um, it was just, now that I've lost it, just this little funny article I had. Um, a bare-breasted blonde mermaid perched atop a rocking rock is making tourists um, gape in disbelief along a Norwegian ford. Um, one man jumped off a boat and swam over, swam over to her. She was a 37-year-old whose job was a professional mermaid sitting up there just while this boat's go past. Professional mermaid. Oh, yeah, yeah, basically. I'd like to see her job spec. So that's That'd be um, good. Yeah. So um, we were looking at this casing before of Flopsy, and now Flopsy's down in here in this little 
Yeah, um, I have to be. Have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, you have to be a lot careful. So I. Ah, uh, 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 okay. Rest assured. I will not be looking at the camera. I'll be looking at the spider to keep an eye on her and make sure. Don't fucking worry. So I. Okay. Okay. Right. That is. One of our largest native Australian spiders, we've, we've had her now for a while. Uh, she's about eight years of age, and these animals can live for about 30 years and get roughly the size of the lid of the container. Now, uh, she's actually quite, quite, not too bad, because I thought the bright lights might disturb her a little bit, but uh, no, she's, uh, she's settling in okay. Um, now, they've been known to feed on things like small frogs, lizards, um, no, not humans, but uh, uh, and, and insects as well too. No? Can you... Okay, how's that? Dangle it to the camera. Right. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, there she is. Okay. There. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't get a really extremely yeah. good camera angle there because we no, don't want the little the flopsy camera running camera around the, the studio. Well, yeah. How about what if I tip? Hand would bite you, what, it? Uh, yes, she probably would. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to be a little Where do careful. they live? Like, where do you find Well, these them? are found generally north of um, Brisbane and heading up towards the... So Cape you don't get them in No, Melbourne. too cold. Too cold. Oh. Stay here, guys. We're fine. You're fine. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can see her there. She's okay. Yes. Do you know the household one? Do they bite you? Do you know the household oh, ones if you, all the time? If you disturb them too much here, they, I mean, all they're going to try and do is, is defend themselves. I always do hairspray and a book. <laughs> the hairspray <laughs> sticks them to the wall and then you uh, squash them. <laughs> um, um, He's not the man to be talking to about no. killing bugs. Oh, no, no I'm well, only joking. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, um, put, it, put it to everybody this way. Uh, think of all the millions of tons of chemicals and pesticides that we've created and, and let loose in the, throughout the environment, yet not one of those chemicals designed to get rid of a particular pest has ever totally eradicated the pest that it was designed to get rid mm. of. All we're essentially doing is poisoning our own environment. Yep. Um, whereas you take one spider like this, and in her lifetime she will consume about 5,000 insects um, in her life. So mm. this is nature's way, and it's a far healthier way. And oh, we, we just have to learn to get over our fears and prejudices. That's right. And appreciate them exactly. for, for what exactly. they are. Yeah. And, and, it, it, and it a good is. way of doing it is by eating them. Oh, yeah. Really? Yes, and looking at, looking yeah. at the benefits of it. And but you know, I, I, I have to thank you myself because I ha am That's extremely arachnophobic, as well you know. <laughs> yes. But having you here and, and um, having the spiders and the bugs and stuff around hasn't cured me totally because I'm still petrified of them. But it, it, it has helped. Now we are, we are getting the wind up. What are you repeating on yourself over there, Taz? <laughs> Oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like to thank you for coming in and, and getting yep. us all to eat bugs today. Well mm. done, I okay. think. And they actually tasted very nice. So if anyone would like that recipe, you can pop down to the Victorian Insectarium and see Bert Candiccio and Flopsy and all the rest of our friends. Now, when we come back, we've got John Portelli and Susan ha um, Harbin. She's coming, they're coming in to talk about the Pride Awards. We'll be back shortly. Thanks, Bert. <laughs> Wow, talk about giving some notice there. Thanks, Choney. I was just, I was just going to say, come in a little bit closer. I don't know about you, but there was no way in heck I would eat any of that stuff. Mind you, if you were living in New Zealand and you had kinners, then maybe. But um, a lot of people know it as um, sea urchins, but that's one of the one of the most fabulous delicacies that you could ever have in New Zealand. Now. Let's get back to what's happening on Channel 31. And now we have the weather for the week. So for Monday, it's uh, uh, cool and cloudy. Tuesday, we have a fine weather, and it's also cool and cloudy. Wednesday, we have fine uh, and windy, with a minimum of 8 and a maximum of 14. Ooh, I don't know about that. Thursday, mainly fine, with wind easing or the wind is going to ease, with a minimum of 11 and a maximum of 14. Now for Friday, we have a few showers, with a minimum of 7 and a maximum of 14. So stay with us here on Channel 31, Bent TV, for more squeal. Welcome back 
to this, the third instalment for Squeal on this lovely chilly Monday night um, here on Vent TV Channel 31. That's your station. Um, and we've been joined by the fabulous DJ John Portelli and the mayoress of Gay Town herself, Susan Harvard. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, guys, um, and you've come along, and very brave Sue's already been up here and eaten some bugs, which we all enjoyed very much. They were very oh, tasty. Right? really good. I know, it's scarily I'm so. Mm, me too. Um, but you're here today basically to talk about the Pride Awards, yes? Yeah. Excellent. And um, when are the Pride Awards? Well, at the moment, the plan is going to be early next year sometime. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of a ring-in, so I need to say that there are a group of people who are getting these awards together. I was approached to see if I wanted to be involved, and I'm trying to get out of public life, and I keep saying, no, 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 don't drag me into something like this, especially not with you, Shonky Lot. But anyway, <laughs> there are a group of really good people who've been around Melbourne a long time and who think that the awards that have been on previously, the Rainbow Awards and the Diva Awards, have been fantastic community events. Mm -hmm. And when you see something like that that's been fabulous end, this group of people said, let's not let it end. I suppose I'm someone, because of my history with Mardi Gras who says that having fun and being out as the community together is fabulous and I think it's really important to celebrate and to make awards and to give people prizes for things Definitely. and to say to people you're fabulous you do a great job Absolutely. and I, as I said when I went to the meeting you know what every time we give a prize to someone or say you're fabulous this year it means we all celebrate it we Absolutely. all get to actually be the winners. And we all understand yeah. what every, yeah. all these different people are doing within yeah. our gay scene yeah. to help the uh, to So it's as simple as that together. really. I think all achievement should be acknowledged. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, rather, it's a fabulous night and, um, you know, but I'd be beyond that, I think, you know, we should be bringing back some pride into our awards. I mean, having been on the oh. previous um, DEVA committee, um, as a community representative, yeah. I must add, you know, um, yeah, I do acknowledge that. The way they can be big and fabulous, I think real people and real awards really need to be addressed. Mm. Within yeah, our community, calling a whole cross-section of the community. Big. Absolutely. Yep. Total cross-section. Yep. Not necessarily just a Diva Awards. That's so right. there'll be awards for points, people so. who eat worms and there'll be awards <laughs> for, you know, news readers and, you know, all those, you know, fabulous, fabulous. awards and, and fabulous and, and who gets to vote? Like, is it, is it open to the community? Cool. Is it... Yeah. yeah, I think what's happening at the moment is these people are actually trying to work out a way to do it. They're thinking of putting something together. They've coined a word for it, which I think is a great idea of something like an academy, which is getting together a largish group of people that have been around for some time and some people who are new, people who were around in the awards previous, previous awards yeah. events previously, so that once we decide on some categories or some categories are decided upon, they will actually um, work out, you know, who's going to... You had how to run them and how to do it. Stuff. And I cool. think Brenda was involved in some previous awards. Oh, the very you? first Rainbow Awards, yes. yes very it successful. Was, uh, and it's still a, a, a great, that's a wonderful night. It's a great night to acknowledge mm. people and, and the divas and the community and the lady up the road who knits for HIV AIDS people mm -hmm. and you know there's just so many and, and it is a great, it, it, it is a needed object in Melbourne. Well the Rainbow Awards were with, really Oh it was, it was wonderful and I don't think I would have liked to have been on the judging committee, thank you, I think that would have been particularly particularly hard. It would be hard to you know, know it down to oh, gee, you know, one and, person in each category. And there is so many people out there that we don't know about that are, that mm. are, that are doing so, so much so good. Much. Absolutely. Yeah, good. Definitely. I, yeah. I think with um, the Pride Awards, I think um, we're going to have uh, a couple of community awards as well, quite, you know, two mm. or three maybe, that will signify um, or, or try and encapsulate what the Rainbow Awards were about as well. Mm. I think so. Yeah, I think that there's, we, there's a group yeah. trying to do that as well. Oh, well, good luck. Good so, luck. is this group of people doing just like a volunteer sort of thing as well? As there's a production company that's formed itself called the Pride Group, who are people who've been producing events, etc., who've come together, and they're going to be the core of it. People who have who have come out of the sort of community entertainment um, world mm -hmm. and who've got the sufficient experience themselves to run the event, yeah. and then they're putting a wider group around them, who, who people connected to community organisations and people who actually want to come forward and form part of the academy in terms of um, working out of what what categories there'll be and what kind of criteria. So. It'll be sort of ripples of groups of people doing different yeah, things. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll stay. We were sitting in a restaurant one day with Mr. Mina, who's out there. Hello. Yeah. And, um, you know, a couple of other people. Connie Lingus. 
Miss Jane, we were just talking about the demise of the Diva Awards, the demise of the Rainbow Awards. Yeah, we just thought, we just had a, a bit of a, a vision and idea. We thought maybe we should put together something as good, bigger or greater, you know, more glamorous, more entertaining. And something that incorporates yeah, all those things, the Rainbow well, Awards, yeah. the Diva Awards. And, and to have and entertainment, and to have entertainment oh. and, and all of that, the yeah, centre yeah, of it, yeah, and, sure. and then put the community stuff around it. Right. Entertainment for the community. Do you have a, a contact number, contact address, or are we still too early to be talking about that sort of stuff yet? Is yeah, it something no, that no. people want to... Yeah? No, um, the, we're just, there's a hotmail site you can yep. you can probably just um, log on. Uh -huh. um, Pride Republic at mm -hmm. hotmail.com. Cool. Yep. Very simple, just all lowercase. All right. Excellent. And, um, yeah. and of course you'll keep us uh, at, here at Bent TV um, up to up to date so that we can pass on the, the information to everyone. And, and Only if there's more salads and things that you're going to serve Look, up. He said that I'm next time you. he's going to bring in the cockroach pate and everything really? else as well. So can we be, be on that same night? I'll make sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely. Don. Your name's on the list. All right, I think we're going to go over to the fabulous Miss Tabitha Tillington, the bug-eating repeater <laughs> herself, and uh, take it away, Tabs. Thanks, Carol. A report on alcohol and other drug use among gay, lesbian and bisexual in the commu queer community will be held in the boardroom of the Australian Drug Foundation, first floor, 409 King Street, West Melbourne. It will be on Tuesday the 4th of July at 6pm, so go and check that out. You can probably ask them heaps of questions, they've got heaps of information for you. If you'd like to be a volunteer or just join in, give us some money, perhaps so the show can get even more spectacular than it already is. You can um, actually ring on 03, that's of course if you're living in interstate and you just want to pop down for the weekend, 966-35902 or Squirrel Care of Bent TV, PO Box 2248. Fantastic. Back to you, sweet Susie Ann. <laughs> Hi. What is she like? All right, thank you, Tabitha. Um, we are now going to have some more footage, and this is from the fabulous Circus Oz, um, which has been playing here in Melbourne. Um, and see if you can spot two Bent TV identities in this uh, first segment. Okay. It's full of them. I am full. I'm just full. I'm getting a headache now. We need to go a bit forward. Okay. Got it. All right, hang on. I'm going to turn it on you. I've had a bit too much to drink. And what paper are you from, mate? Daily rag. Daily rag, bloody right. I didn't feel the daily rag. I think they're everywhere. So you ready to go on? Yeah. We're ready to be able to go on. Fans, it's just fans everywhere. It's mostly for my cocoa though, isn't it, baby? Yes, darling. But she was nothing, nothing till she met me. <laughs> Something, but I tell you, it was only a little. And what? Go, right, right. You go with those guys. Go with those guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get a story.
and so let me tell you, that footage just does not do that act justice. That they, uh, it's just oh. amazing. She's got hips to kill for, that girl with that swivel bits. Yeah, yeah. all right. And you, and you might, if you were watching closely there, you might have seen um, Anna, who was, uh, who's a BET TV volunteer. She was in there um, sticking a microphone in someone's face there. Um, all right, is there anything more that you wanted to say about the Pride Awards or anything else that you've... Um, come in today with? Um, the, uh, people will hear a lot more about it um, soon and there will be an invitation for people to, to get involved, um, a certain group that's involved. So just stay tuned. Embracing yep. all forms of community again, I think, you know, just saying, is there a need? Yes, there is. And embracing every form of community, mm. of gay culture, and appreciating that gay culture is very important. Yeah. So people don't feel like, you know, votes were rigged. They, don't, they feel the, cat the categories have opened right up mm -hmm. oh, yeah, to embrace the, all that. On that note, um, satellite media are going to be a big sponsor. And yeah. they're, they're, they're going to assist in, in, in the community development of Excellent. acknowledgement awards. Right yeah. the Logie. It's going to be like the Logie. Is that? Yeah. Sponsorship yeah. Role, isn't that too? Yeah. Mm. So important. And, you know, things yeah. have changed so, so, yeah. I mean, so much. The sponsorship is, you know, what I do. Mm. The sponsorship is a lot harder to achieve oh, these days, gosh, as you know. Yes. Um, but, you know, if, if a big um, company like Satellite Media oh, yeah. does get behind, well, I think that's yeah. important because yeah. you've got all your media coverage. Mm. And, pe and people will be able to vote online and be able to vote through. Through the oh, papers, like the Logies fantastic. do it. That's so, excellent. So, so, and you can really feel like it's been done. And you're you know, a part of it. Yeah. And everyone can participate. Yeah. 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 It's not rigged. So it is our awards. Because there always was that stigma after oh, the awards oh, shows, the rainbows yeah. and the divas, right. that, that oh, it was yeah. rigged and, you know, da da da. Yeah. It's just like, so this is a, a real opportunity yeah. for it to be um, our and awards. And how it all developed, for, basically, yeah. that had to make a foolproof, sort of glamorous, fabulous, entertaining awards night. Excellent. All right. We're getting the wind up. We're going to come back. Um, the guys are going to stay with us and uh, we'll be back shortly. I know I'm I'm not going to